14 seasons, Dan Cashman has been bringing Maine viewers local late night comedy, music and entertainment on The Night Show. It broadcasts from Presque Isle to Portland and features guests from all corners of Maine and well beyond. But in February came some news. Amanda Hill joins us now with more on that. Hey, Amanda. Hi, guys. Nice to have you here. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> I'll tell you, this announcement, it came on social media, and it was kind of a surprise. The Night Show with Dan Cashman would be coming to an end next year after its 15th season. Many of us here at News Center Maine have had the honor of sitting beside him on that stage as guests on his show, but I wanted to be the one he sat down with to share his story. If I sit and think about this too long, it gets hard. It gets really hard. So I'm trying very hard to not think about it for too long until next year, until we're done. <laughs> because right now there's still shows to do. Dan Cashman and his ever-growing team taped the night show on Wednesday nights at the Gracie Theater on Huston University's campus in front of a live audience. That's why Cashman learned early on to ask for the right help from his co-host, Christy Robinson. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. want Brian Netto and the Night Show Band. A one, two, three, four. And the 20 to 30 students with the New England School of Communications, or NESCOM, running cameras and audio. They sound the same, we move on to the next one. Setting guests up with what they'll need and receiving a real hands-on education. Our fun big show um, leads to bigger and better things for these students. I, I did not understand how important that would become to, to all of us. Next season, we are going to end the night show. When Cashman made his announcement online, hundreds responded with memories, encouragement, and thanks for the inspiration and experience. Cindy Miller, a graduate of Nescom, even credited the show for getting her where she is today, working as a technical director for ESPN. The night show really helped with getting you to a place of real world understanding of how television works that you didn't just have your grade to worry about you're going on statewide television most of us for the first time so regardless on if there's a grade attached to it we just wanted to make a really good show an outsider looking in it seems like why now it seems like you're really you've really hit your pace with this show so mm. why now sometimes there are enough things pointing to a a certain decision that you have to make that it just feels like maybe it's the right time part of the decision cashman says is being able to spend more time with his two daughters he has a full-time job working in public relations in bangor and spends well over 40 hours a week curating the night show reaching out to book guests getting sponsorships even editing the show there were times I'm sitting on my living room floor trying to figure out a punchline to a joke at two in the morning, wondering why I'm doing this. Guests have ranged from local celebrities to musicians like Paula Cole, who asked to be on again. I am not the brightest bulb on the porch, but I got the meaning of that song immediately. And there were people who didn't. They, yeah. they got it wrong. And I, I find that hilarious now so many years later. I mean, that was kind of an anomaly, that song. Like, I was trying to weave in some humor and irony. Yeah. Despite an initial, wait, what is this show from her PR person? On the top of your list for guests was a David Letterman. Mm -hmm. Have you reached out yet? So you and Rob convinced me to reach out, and I rue the day because it was a very swift and fast no. <laughs> and yet it's been a swift yes from other big names. If you had told me when I started doing this show 14 years ago that Ed Asner would be sitting on the stage talking with me, I never in a million years would have believed that. And he not only came, but he came, wanted to come back. And what does that say to you? It says that we have something pretty special. Uh, late night talk shows, you can, you can see them anywhere um, on the networks. But the, the fact that a local late night talk show exists and has some shelf life to it is rare. So rare that Nickelodeon and Food Network television host Mark Summers has asked to come back on the night show multiple times, even inviting Cashman to New York while he was filming a reboot of Double Dare. When he first reached out to you about this little night show in Maine, what kind of went through your mind? That uh, he's me a few years, you know, earlier. Uh, or later, take your pick. Um, I, I had this passion to be on television, and I grew up in Indiana. I had big dreams to go to either New York or L.A. Um, Dan uh, loves Maine, didn't want to leave Maine, but still wanted to fulfill this dream. You know, he was good from day one. We're kind of, <laughs> I don't want 
want to say like, you know, those two guys from the Muppets? Um, <laughs> yes. Who sit in the balcony. Well, they say all good things come to an end. What's that got to do with this show? <laughs> but when Christy Robinson joined Cashman as a co-host on The Night Show, there was immediate chemistry. Somebody recently said to me, Christy, you're a, you're a public figure because of this now. And that just made me go, really? Is, is that true? And I guess that's true. You know, being invited into people's living rooms on Saturday night. Now, every time I go into that theater, when we tape, I, tr I, I keep that in mind. Like, it feels like it's just right here but it's not it's it's so widespread and and brings so many people joy local joy in our home state we're a bunch of bangor people doing a show and when bangor people do a show you don't expect to get a following in southern maine it's just the way it is uh and we got one and they came in droves to see our last live taping and i started thanking them <laughs> and it was hard it was really hard And it shouldn't be, it's just a show. It's just a fun show. But it's, it's, it's been a lot. There will be some tears, but Cashman and Robinson aren't looking at the final season as an ending. They're too focused on packing everything in, all of the skits and jokes and the guests, including one more try for David Letterman. I think the, the greatest compliment that, that we can get is that people remember us when we're gone. And whether they loved us or hated us, if they remember us, I think that that's that means we've done something right. Are you saying there's a chance for a comeback? <laughs> this already is a comeback. I'll never close any doors to anything. Um, it's it's possible there's a comeback, but right now it just feels like the time the time is right to to do some other things. The Night Show with Danny Cashman airs Saturday nights. Check your local listings. In fact, this Saturday, you'll see a familiar New Center main face on the show. And by the way, you guys saw us chat with Mark Summers, which I was geeking out, of <laughs> course, as a kid who grew up in the 90s. We will have more with him on a later 207 on what he's up to these days, including a look back on that television career, including what was actually in the Nickelodeon slime. That was, that was big. That was big for I me. I want to know. And we talked more with, with Mark and with Christy about the end of the show. And they both agree this is not the end of Dan Cashman because this is something that's in his blood, this performance. And so whether it's this or whether it's something completely different, this is not the end, they both believe, for Dan Cashman. We've talked about this before. We talk about this in the newsroom. But what Danny Cashman has done with The Night Show for so long is extraordinary. Yes. And it is because of his passion mm -hmm. because of his commitment and it's there's really nothing else that's really comparable in the entire United States and you can see it when he talks about it when he was talking about having to say goodbye to those people and how hard it is that passion's right there and he does such a great job at what he does yes we're very proud of him here I think Sorry, we got them all bummed out about the Letterman thing, though. <laughs> Letterman better come on now after all of that. Come on. Come through. All right. Great story. Thanks, Amanda.